Hey guys, it's Woody Mark here coming with a brand new career mode video and today because of all the transfer stuff going on and things getting, you know, thought I'd quickly show this who's joined who's left, so Lafty, Turner, Andrew, O'Neill and as you could see the amount of bids for Hulahan were quite unreal. So I'll leave it as that but I wanted to keep him to be honest because he wasn't worth selling for 3 million, he's a good player, like increases the depth in the side and Obviously, if you've noticed the last episode, at the end of the last episode, we did sign Labe Had. I think that's how you pronounce his name, who hopefully will be a good player for us. But annoyingly, Labe Had actually misses the pass, but that was my fault. Flat out my fault. I'll take, well, when I lost the ball, I'll take 100% responsibility for that goal. Labe Had should have missed the pass. The power I put on the ball was okay, but. After that, I'll take full responsibility for the goal. That was bad defending on my part, but Eric Dier making Eric, Eric Dyer making sure he gets the pass in. I remember Ryan having a go at me for saying his name wrong, but what a debut goal. Really, really neat finish, and that's why I signed him, because I know Houlihan couldn't make those certain plays where, well, he can. So that was a stunning, stunning goal to make it one goal all against West Brom. And can I just say, the start we've had in the Premier League with the teams has been horrific. We've had, to begin with, we've had Manchester City away, Manchester United at home, West Brom away, and then we've had, and then we're gonna have Arsenal away, or no, Arsenal at home, and then Tottenham away. Replace Chelsea with West Brom, and that's the toughest start you can get. Well, maybe Liverpool instead of Tottenham, but I don't know about that. But I don't think anyone can have a tougher start than us. So overall, I think we're doing quite well. But we did get the goal to make it two goals to one. Cameron Jerome, who else? And yeah, he's going to be a striker at the club for a long time. Might, pardon me, end up offering him a new contract sooner or later. And he misses the header and he scores. Happens. Maybe I should have rushed my goalkeeper. That's the only thing I could say to improve myself on that because uh, maybe he would have got there, maybe he wouldn't. Probably worth yellow, but I don't know. But we have got a chance in the 90th minute. Ryan Bennett on the ball, does a nice shimmy and gets the luck. He should slot it in, but he misses. Fantastic. So that is how the game finishes. The game does indeed finish to all. So at this stage, it's all points on the board, I guess, because at the... Well, I guess where we're at, any kind of points you get are good points. So, it's it's what you take at the end of the day. It's what you take. And as you can see, the transfer window is about to close. I might sell Gary Huber in the um, January transfer window and try to get somewhat another striker as a backup. Because if Jerome got injured, I've got no faith in Gary Hooper or Pereira. But unfortunately, Halston is out for three months, and he's actually gone up to 75 rated, which is quite high. However, I don't rate him as a player, as defensively he isn't good. He's just good on the ball, but even so, he doesn't really provide much. So, he, maybe he's a player we've got to replace in the future, but Bradley Johnson is much better. But we are against Arsenal, and who else but Cameron Jerome scores the first goal? To make it one goal to nil. And this episode is a bit longer. I guess because I'm also showing. Um, a squad report as well. And with the transfers and that. It's made it probably a couple minutes longer. Than usual. And it is a four game episode still. So yeah. I, I guess that's why it's a little bit longer than usual. But it, it's the way it is. It's not too bad. Like. I see a lot of career mode videos which are 15 minutes and some are like 10 minutes, some are um, 7 minutes, it, it varies and yeah some people might like the longer episodes, some like the shorter episodes, I do try to vary it but Premier League I won't be doing like 5 game episodes again because that's just not good. But Bellerin on the ball and check out this ball, maybe he should have rushed, nah he wouldn't have got there with, well maybe he would have got there with the goalkeeper actually. But Cameron Drain slots it in with the wrong foot but the 2 star weak foot is still a good enough weak foot for him to score the goal. So 5 league goals already and I can tell you when this episode ends he is actually the top goal scorer in the Premier League so far. So, England, if you're watching this, pick him. <laughs> Not in real life, don't pick him in a million years, but in FIFA, pick him. Because he's scoring goals and what else can he do? 
But to be fair, based on ratings, he probably wouldn't do that well for England because I'm not controlling him. And Ruddy, you probably should have done better with that. But it happens, like, when you're using a weaker team, like, the luck goes against you at times. You you notice it. Like, Ruddy, like, likes to palm stuff out like there. Uh, yeah, he should have done better or straight at him. Should be a lot better, but oh well. But Jack Wilshire on the ball into Santi Cazola, into Bodowski, who's back at Arsenal, surprisingly. And yeah, strangely, Ozil is actually on the bench. And But I'm guessing he's, he's on the bench because Jack Wilshire has a high rating. But I don't get it, really. But he gets a bit of luck. Walcott shoots, but Ruddy makes a fine save. And this ends up going to Jack Wilshire. Hits it first time. Goes in. Two goals all. It's a pretty nice goal. I was a bit unlucky for one of the deflections not to go my way. But at the end of the day, it was quite a nice goal. So we accept it and move on again. Like, that's all you can do a lot of times with FIFA. It's happened. View had to improve. Move on. At times, there is nothing you can do. So you shouldn't be hard on yourself. However... It's annoying when things don't go your way and you don't have many chances to make it go your way. I guess that's, in a way, what annoys me. But, Castello on the ball. First time fake shot, really effective in career mode. Would advise it. And then he shoots and he scores. But overall, FIFA news, that's another thing. There was um, some recent FIFA news out yesterday or two days ago. And, to be honest, it's nothing new, to be honest. I, like... They're just out to sell the game rather than tell us new features. Like, the only new features is women's football, which I, I don't want to make this sound iffy, but it's a kickoff thing. So it's fun if you got a friend round and doing kickoff. But overall, you're not really going to use it unless it is implemented in head to head seasons. You're not really going to use it too much, to be honest. So, yeah, it's one of those that makes the game a little bit better, which is nothing bad at all. But overall it is sort of like well it's not a major update so I'm waiting for that major update to come in but I am going to be getting a PS4 and also I wonder if the quality is better on screen because I'm using a different software the updated game capture HD so I wonder if the picture looks better um <laughs> sorry I had a bit of water in my mouth, my mouth. <laughs> um I wonder if the picture looks better so, yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. So, yeah. But overall, I'm waiting for that brand new feature. But Jerome goes past the goalkeeper and scores. And it seems like Lloris has actually left. Like, in my opinion, Manchester United should sign Lloris if De Gea, De Gea does leave. And, oh, uh, this commentary is going on too long. And it's been around, a, well, it's currently 11 o'clock in the morning. So, it's still quite early on, which is why, in a way, late night recordings are probably better. However, getting videos out done and early, like, releases a lot of pressure and all that, and I've still got to get, um, two videos out for my main channel, even though I've actually created a video before this, so, yeah, all adds up, but it's all okay and fun, so, it's fine, it's fine. But overall, yeah, Paulinho on the ball, gives it into Harry Kane, Harry Kane shoots, Harry Kane scores! But career mode, I want something... With career mode and ultimate team, they need to surprise us with something big. Because in my opinion, the last big thing they've put in the game has been um, probably seasons, I would say. Like, obviously they've added little bits in, like, for instance, chemistry styles and, like, new formations. I would say new for formations is quite big. But a lot of these you would think should have been in the game before. And, yeah, they're making it, like slowly better like adding new searches or that kind of stuff new menus all of these factors are needed and make the game a little bit better however you want something that's going to be like i can't wait to try this out like instead of oh that's interesting that that that, that should be cool to use like when seasons got implemented it's like ultimate team with seasons i can't wait for it now it's like well i guess legends were one for, thing on xbox but now it's sort of like I don't know. Because in my opinion, um, actually, Black Ops 3, the, that game, has released more than FIFA and FIFA set to come out in three months. So, I'm more excited, in a way, I'm more interested in how Black Ops 3 is going to be. But that's because there's more factors to it and there's more they can do. With FIFA, it's football. Uh, there's not much else they can do. 
But we did finish that game three goals to one and this last game is actually going to be a League Cup game. So if you want you can just click off. If you want to watch the League Cup game go for it. However if you don't I understand click off the video. And But for now you're going to see all the ratings increase because League Cup isn't that big of a deal. So I don't blame you to be honest. I guess I could have seen the match but overall I thought it was less painful to like rotate the side within the pre-game rather than going to team management then sim simming it. All of these are factors I want to be removed from like implemented into the game kind of thing because it just makes everyone's life a lot easier like adding the calendar in or that kind of stuff. Obviously it is too late for me to tell them now potentially because the game's probably almost done and they're just fine tuning stuff right now which is what they end up doing with games at this sort of time. Because they've got all the features implemented, they've just got to fine tune them and stuff and make sure it's all like free and all of that kind of stuff. So overall, if you're asking to implement features, what you want them to do, and my PC is generating a lot of air for some reason. Um, <laughs> there was a sudden breeze by my legs. Um, so yeah, overall, it's sort of like you got to tell FIFA what to do when at the beginning of FIFA 16 because if you go features I want for FIFA 16 you're begging if you actually do features I want for FIFA 16 at the beginning of 15 you go can I for instance because what you're pretty much doing is asking what you want for FIFA 17 which is not not a bad thing not a bad thing because they still might take it into account however it's one of those but Pereira on the ball does indeed cut it back to Bennett I am a cheater yes I am I flower admit it <laughs> nah it's, it's perfectly legit it's okay it's not that big of a deal it's just a computer you can shoot all you like but again open goal for Bennett and he does indeed score he doesn't redeem himself but he does indeed score but Houlihan on the ball and yeah of course I'm going to play a weaker side because this is actually a midweek match but here he just tucks into the corner that finish is really effective actually I quite like it because if you're unsure, the best thing you can do is just tap it because it might go under the goalkeeper. So that's probably my advice, especially with the lower rated players because with the higher rated players you can do like a fancy finesse shot in the corner. In this you can't, but Pereira does indeed score the header and that actually makes it 4-0 and Brentford were actually the side they got relegated from the championship last season so we get to play them again. But overall, end of video, hit like button, smile, just load, do subscribe, you want to see more, it's from Woody Mark Malvia. See you guys!